We just learned about safe co-location of files, which Next.js handles right out of the box. Now let's dive into another cool Next.js feature, private folders. This will help you keep your project super organized. So what is a private folder? Think of it as a way to tell Next.js, hey, this folder is just for internal stuff. Don't include it in the routing system. The folder and all its subfolders are excluded from routing. To create a private folder, just add an underscore at the start of the folder name. Let me show you how this works. In your app folder, create a folder called underscore lib. This is where you might put utility functions like format date.js or .ts if you're using TypeScript. We will skip the implementation details for now. But here is what I really want to show you. Let's create a page.tsx file inside this underscore lib folder with a simple React component. So new file, page.tsx, export default function, private route, and return an h1 tag. You cannot view this in the browser. Now you might think this would show up at localhost 3000 slash underscore lib, but it won't. The underscore in underscore lib makes it a private folder, so Next.js won't create a route for it. Try navigating to slash underscore lib in the browser, and you will get a 404 error. Page not found, could not find requested resource. This is the custom 404 page we defined earlier. Private folders are super useful for a bunch of things. Keeping your UI logic separate from routing logic, having a consistent way to organize internal files in your project, making it easier to group related files in your code editor, and finally, avoiding potential naming conflicts with future Next.js file naming conventions. And here is a quick pro tip. If you actually want an underscore in your URL, use percentage %5f instead. That is just the URL encoded version of an underscore. Try switching underscore with percentage %5f and see what happens in your browser. Let me know in the comment section if you can view page.tsx in the browser. Private folders is just one of the ways to organize your Next.js project. If this is not your cup of tea, you can always choose to not use the feature and simply rely on file collocation or even place files outside of the app folder. Up next, we will check out another awesome feature Next.js gives us for project organization. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.